Donald Pagoda Watch, Extraction 2. That's <laughs> pretty good, right? Hello, my name is Christo Emmanuel. I am from Indonesia. It is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. In the first movie, um, Tyler Rake said, if you want to survive, you will do exactly as I say. <laughs> that was my, that was my best attempt at is it good? Pretty good. good. Perfect. 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 Do you do any impressions? Do you, do you, does he? I don't know. You? He has a pretty good impression of me. Actually. Oh, yeah? Hey there, Can I'm you Sam Hargrave, and uh, welcome to Extraction. Go! <laughs> Go! <laughs> uh, yeah. Go! Uh, Go! That's, oh, my, oh. Impression. That's my impression of him. That's right. your impression of him. Go! 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 Move! 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 Move. You're going to die move. now. Okay, okay. okay. Pretty good. Um, okay, so you said if you want to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Yep. Um, if Tyler Rake could only choose one lame weapons to survive, which one would you choose? A, a fedora hat. B, a wet sock. Or C, a chewed gum. Ooh. I'd say the hat because I could disguise myself. Okay. Blend in, disappear. Oh. Avoid the fight altogether. So with a fedora hat. Yeah, you wouldn't. You could uh, just. Do this. It's not really a Tyler Rake yeah. item of clothing. So okay. you, no, so I, think you, so I think you did this very oh, well. My point, I'm agreeing with you. I mean, because you would like that's not Tyler Rake. Oh, that's Fedora true. Hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I would agree with you. How However, you? I would use the wet socks. And then use it for what? And choke somebody out with it. Oh. You know, wrap it around and then it smells, and then they could die from the smell. That Good. is an added benefit. Wow. That's <laughs> what was going through your mind? Right before the one, because I watched that last night and it was awesome. Thank I was you. like, "Yo, how did you do that? Like, what was going through your mind? Like, what's the thought process behind that? Are we gonna die? Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. I thought. Does Sam really know what he's yeah, doing? He's got, am I safe? Why am I on fire again? <laughs> <laughs> Everything hurts. Everything when will this end? <laughs> Why did I say yes to this? Why okay. I agree? Things like that. Sam, oh. what about you? In all seriousness, it was the. Those all those things do come up. Like it's, yeah. you, you do have those things come into your mind of like, well, what happens if this goes wrong, or how are we going to do this? So you have to put that stuff behind you, put it in the back of your mind, and focus on what do I need to do to successfully achieve this goal. Wow! And then just step by step do it, and then you end up with a twenty-one minute seven second wonder. Both totally normal answers. Like right. yours is very normal. It's what you'd expect, huh? Yeah, it's just a fire, you know? Yeah. Whatever. It's <laughs> totally normal. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> you both work alongside each other, and I heard that you guys kept adding stuff and improvising. What is the improved choreography mm. that you guys are most proud of? <laughs> Specifically, I, I, I know that most of my frustration at times, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'm incredibly thankful that Sam is... Constantly tweaking, so I'd spend weeks learning a fight and go right, got it. And you go, I just I, we can make it a little bit better if we change this, this, this. And, like, uh -huh. and I'd do it and be like, God, he's right, which would make uh -huh. me more angry. Um, but that's the kind of the nature of the beast work with Sam. It's, it's it's constantly evolving. It's a constant search for improvement. How we better this? How we make it more dramatic, more unexpected? Yeah. Like we raise the bar. Which is which is why rehearsal is so important, and you put so much time into training and so many different versions and variations of the fight mm -hmm. sequence that when you come in and change something, because in the in the rehearsal space things work a certain way, and then you put it on its feet out of a location, and, and it changes, and you're like, you know what, that that's just not working as well as it could. What if we try this? Oh. And then you, you know, some sometimes it, it's just a single move here. Sometimes it's like this whole piece isn't working. Let's cut that out. Remember, you, you know, if this move is similar to that, we're going to pick it up here and you start to piece a puzzle together. Wow. Wow. And the only way you can do that improvisation on the set is by him being as prepared as he was. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last but not least, do you have any messages for the fans in Indonesia? Check out the movie. It's going to be amazing and hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you so much for all the support. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for you to see this film. Uh, I think we've made an even better film than the first one. So fans of the first film get ready because this thing is pretty damn exciting yeah don't forget to watch extraction 2 <laughs> pretty good right <laughs> up, up. up oh Trim wow terima kasi for kasi. your for your time today terima kasi see you next time i'm trying to play oh, that's good no <laughs> you're doing it you're doing it well done <laughs> all right thank you thank yeah. you so much Thanks, thank buddy. you appreciate it cheers. see you when i see you cheers, cheers. Yeah, right. oh, cheers. thank you